It is customary for Boise State to confer an honorary doctoral degree upon a deserving individual each spring during this ceremony. An honorary doctorate is awarded to recognize an individual of outstanding accomplishment in scholarship, creativity, public service, education, and human welfare. We are proud of this tradition and the significance it holds for all of us. This afternoon's nominee is especially deserving and we are thrilled to have him with us. The Honorable Judge Sergio Gutierrez, Idaho's first Latino judge, served Southwest Idaho from the bench for 25 years. In November 1993, Governor Cecil D. Andres appointed Gutierrez as third district judge. He was then twice elected by voters to retain this position and also served as administrative district judge. Governor Dirk Kempthorne appointed Judge Gutierrez to serve on the Idaho Court of Appeals beginning in January 2002 and he subsequently was elected to serve two full terms there. Judge Gutierrez immigrated to the United States from Mexico as a young child and went to work in the farm fields when he was eight, eventually dropping out of school to help support his family. He later earned his GED through Job Corps and then a Bachelor of Arts degree, cum laude, in, the elementary in elementary education from Boise State while working for Idaho Legal Aid Services doing outreach with migrant farm workers. He earned a Juris Doctoral degree from the University of California Hastings College of Law. Among his foremost contributions to judicial administration has been his leadership in the improvement of court interpreter services throughout the state of Idaho. Colleague Sam, La Sam Lahid said about Judge Gutierrez's accomplishments, quote, if you think a little about the judge's life, his rise from humble beginnings, his faith in the power of education, his professional success and personal sacrifices, one might easily conclude that Sergio Gutierrez has realized the American dream. Spend enough time thinking about his life, though, or spend a few minutes in his presence, and it becomes apparent that the judge defines the American dream differently than most. His won't be realized until ours has." Unquote. Those are powerful words indeed. Judge Gutierrez arrived, uh, retired from the Idaho Court of Appeals in December of 2018. He frequently volunteers his time to promote various diversity, education, and leadership causes within the judiciary, the legal profession, and the larger community. He is a founding member of the diversity section of the State Bar, a past board member of the National Job Corps Association, and a past board member for the Idaho Latino Scholarship Foundation. He is a National Job Corps Hall of Fame inductee and has been awarded the Boise State University Distinguished Alumni Award, among several other distinctions. Honorable Sergio A. Gutierrez has demonstrated a lifelong dedication to serving citizens and providing opportunities for thousands to flourish under his leadership. I am very pleased indeed to bestow upon him this degree an honorary doctorate of laws from Boise State University for his remarkable contributions to human welfare. Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Thank you, Provost Rourke, for generously highlighting my career accomplishments and for your kind welcome. I am humbled being recognized for my public and community service by Boise State University with the award of an honorary doctorate degree. I am very grateful for Dr. Alicia Garza having nominated me for this prestigious award. It is especially meaningful to me because my life's journey of public and community service began while attending BSU in 1976. At that time, I was working as a teacher's aide. I remember quite vividly a fifth grade English language learner student named Isaac responding to my sharing that I was attending BSU with these words. It's impossible. I would describe what followed as the beginning of a life story of a young man in pursuit of the American dream. Graduates, I will say more on this, but first, I want to tell you how much I appreciate this opportunity.
to join in the celebration of your educational accomplishments. Having successfully navigated these halls of learning and earned your degree, I submit that your task is now twofold. To pursue a means by which you might use the knowledge and skills you've learned here to impact the world around you, while also providing for yourself and your family. To me, that is the American dream. Allow me to elaborate why this is so. When talking about measures of success or aspirations thereto, I'm sure you've heard people refer to the American dream. The phrase was coined by historian and writer James Truslow Adams in his 1931 book titled The Epic of America. This popular phrase has become a shorthand way of expressing many complicated concepts at once. For some, it evokes positive feelings and thoughts about broad ideals like life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. For others, a reference to the American dream is a reminder of their own highly specific and personalized goals, such as acquiring a college education, owning one's own home, or otherwise securing a particular lifestyle. Times and circumstances have changed substantially through the years, and so the question asked of millennials today is, is the American dream still alive? You see, many millennials are putting off big commitments such as marriage and home ownership because these financial burdens are for many simply unrealistic in today's economy. I firmly believe the American dream is still very much alive. Can you say amen? And as is often the case with people in general, I have come to define the American dream in part based on my personal experience. In some respects, the story of my life mirrors the narrative arc of the typical American dream, from nothing to something, from migrant farm worker to respected judge. My story is that of an immigrant brought to this country by parents who wanted the best for their children but lack the resources to do other than create, by moving to this country, the opportunity for us to succeed or fail on our own. You could say that my parents' vision of America formed the basis of my American dream. Their view of America, which they shared with generations of immigrants from across the globe, as a place where anything is possible, it truly set the stage for my life. When I look back, I realize that the common themes of whatever successes I've had are also the components of my American dream. Education, sacrifice, and hard work. When I look forward and imagine what may come, I envision, as in the words of Tom Brokaw, the greatest generation yet. That, my friends, includes you. You see, I do not believe that our best days as a nation and people are behind us. The future is ever so bright. Your futures, as college graduates who have demonstrated an ability to work hard and sacrifice immediate gratification for sustainable success, are bright. Indeed, the path to our nation's bright future is paid with the components of each of your American dreams. And let me say that again, for it is so important. The path, the path to our nation's bright future is paved with the components of each of your American dreams. With your graduation today, I hope a similar recognition and learned optimism graces your thoughts. I hope you do not see your American dream as having already been accomplished, but rather realize that your journey in pursuit of the American dream continues with this great leap forward. Consider how education really makes a difference in shaping our lives and our ability to prosper individually and as a nation. Lest we learn, we cannot grow. Lest we grow, we cannot achieve. Lest we achieve, we cannot prosper. 
When I say prosper, I don't refer only to financial security. True enough, it is well documented that over a lifetime, a college degree substantially increases your earnings. Statistically, I was supposed to end up working in the fields picking crops as my father had done all his life or end up depending on others to meet my basic needs. My education helped me to defy the odds just as it will help you defy whatever limitations others have ascribed to you. But please remember that a person is not prosperous merely because he or she thrives financially. Earning money is a good and necessary thing, but it should not be your sole focus or the yardstick by which you measure yourself. As I've grown older, I've learned that to be prosperous is to be actively engaged in one's life and able to help others. The measure of my value is not in my bank account, but in my children's and grandchildren's laughter and the contributions I've been able to make to my community. Just as I believe that the true meaning of prosperous does not involve financial worth, I also believe that the most important benefit of having a college education lies not in what you've learned, but in the fact that you have learned how to learn. And I learned from school that education, like success, is a never-ending process. It allows you to discover over time the person within you that you never knew existed. For me, this has meant that at 65 years of age, I have, be I have become a man I never imagined nor that anyone in my family imagined for that matter. I now come to what I believe is the most important part of the American dream. A person who climbs the ladder of success only to kick it away after reaching safety in the heights so others cannot follow does not truly share in what I consider to be the American dream. It is not simply about making it for one's own sake. Rather, it is about positioning yourself so that you help others get a chance to be all they were meant to be. That is the point where people truly distinguish themselves and truly become or fulfill the American dream. In your own way, I guarantee you will also have opportunities to positively impact others. Each of us, no matter where we are in life or what position we hold, will have a skill set, knowledge, or resource to help others join in the pursuit of the American dream. In reality, it is a shared American dream that keeps the dream alive for your generation and for generations to come. In closing, I would be remiss if I did not mention Dr. Martin Luther King's view of the nature and achievability of what we call the American dream. Dr. King, by virtue of his great intellect and passion and his unequal command of the English language, used his beautiful words to make real, to express, to make tangible the essential soul of this country. He gave a name to our most noble, noble aspirations as a people. And so it is today, I would say, that the vast majority of Americans still believe in that American dream. Graduates, I'm so glad to see you succeed, and I can't wait to see you share that success with others and to watch our communities become even stronger in consequence. You have my heartfelt congratulations on your graduation, and my prayer is that you will find hope and joy and satisfaction as you pursue the next steps in life. God bless you all.